What's going on guys? It's Jay back at it again with another video. Today I wanted to change the scenery so I'm shooting a video outside. Um, it's a beautiful day. There are some construction going on in the neighborhood so I hope that doesn't interfere but yeah let's get right into it. So I want to talk to you guys about my camera bag. What I use is the Lopo Fast Pack BP Weathers 2. I've had this bag for around one year and a half now so it's definitely got a lot of use and I really love this bag because it's really comfortable and it's really durable. Um, if you look at the back, if you look at the very bottom, there's no fraying, no scratching or anything and it fits a lot of my equipment inside. I actually shot this video already like three months ago but I wasn't happy with the result so I'm going to do this again. The first compartment that I use a lot is the laptop which you can access from the side. Um, it fits up to a 15 inch and you can also slide in an iPad which is really nice as well. I don't use because I don't have an iPad but the 15 inch MacBook I definitely slide it in here. So that goes on the side. Next we have the top compartment. Um, it only goes until here so this is where I put my flash any miscellaneous things like socks even sometimes and I just throw it in here you can also have a, sp a space to put your pens um, your passport if you're traveling right now I just have an ND filter a little carabiner some some information brochures and stuff it's a great place to just throw things in So that's that. Here in the front you also have a little pocket to throw in some change. Right now I have a battery charger for my Sony, um, protective lens, and that's about it. It's actually pretty spacious, like I could put, I could probably fit like both of my hands in here. It's pretty it's a pretty big pocket. So moving on to the side, on the left side you have a uh, space to put your drink. Um, I, you can also put like a little tripod, you can just shove the tripod legs in here and you can secure it with this clip right here. Next, moving on to the bottom portion, this is where you can put your bodies and your lenses. So over here, it opens up like that and you can see I have different spaces for different things. Um, I fit in a 70 to 200, one body, and a couple of lenses in here, and it fits a lot. I think it fits like almost all my equipment in here, and it works really well. Um, you can definitely adjust it to your liking, so if you have smaller lenses or bigger lenses, everything is velcroed on, so you can definitely move things around to how you use your bag. And on the front flap here, there's actually another pocket. I don't really use it, but uh, yeah, it's there. Oh, also in the inside, you can store your SD cards in here. I know some people don't like to use it because um, it does seem a little unsafe to throw your important SD cards in here. It could get lost or fall out, but I don't. I haven't had any issues with it. And yes, I definitely use this space. And I do find this is very convenient just to throw your SD cards in. So what makes this bag all weather is the feature down at the bottom here. You can pull out this liner, this rain liner that you can use um, during rain or any snow. You can use it to kind of just wrap over your bag like that. And that way your gear is secure, especially when you're outside and you're hiking and stuff. This is what you really need. And like I said before, this is a really comfortable bag. Um, I use this mainly for travel. I don't use it for a lot of day trips because it is a big bag for me and I don't carry that much gear. Um, I like I don't have any, I, like I just have this travel tripod. So this bag actually includes a waist strap as well as a chest strap over here. However, I did move the waist strap because I didn't find it really useful and it kind of got in the way. So I would highly recommend this bag if you like to hike and travel. And there are two main reasons for that. One is that um, this bag can actually be strapped onto your carry-on luggage, onto the um, handles of your luggage, so you don't 
so you can actually just put it on top of the luggage. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll throw in a picture for you right now. So the second feature that I think it does really well for hiking and separates itself from the competition is the ability to access your cameras without taking the bag off your back. So I'm going to show that for you right now. Okay, so say you're hiking and you see a nice opportunity for a photo, but you don't want to take your bag off because you're, have, you have your straps on and it's kind of an inconvenient to stop. So what you can do is actually you can unbuckle this and you can swing your bag around and without taking your bag off and put it on, putting it on the ground, you can grab your camera and start shooting right away. And I think that's super, super convenient. And that's one of the main things of why I chose this bag. Damn, I think I got a mosquito bite right now. Anyways, that's about it for the video. Like I said before, I highly recommend it for traveling and hiking.